Marlin Travels, Surrey, British Columbia. Specialists in flights to anywhere in Africa and beyond. We also provide best prices to all African destinations. We are available in our Surrey City Central Mall location seven days of the week, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. For best customer service and booking, we are located at 10153 King George Boulevard, Surrey City Central Mall, Surrey. Our telephone numbers are 604 588 8300 and 604-339-8039. You can also email us at dean.malik at marlintravel.ca. Visit our website www.marlintravel.ca slash 1550. Call and save on flights today. Hello and welcome. My name is Joe Ehizode. This is Platform Media International PMI Community Events Edition. At the weekend, the Sorotimins International of Civil Data and Guest Empowered partnered to organize the first annual Drink It, Be It career support for girls between the ages of 14 and 18 at the Ecole Panorama Ridge Secondary School in Surrey. Dream 8 Be It Career Support for Girls is alleged, is said, is, help, is made to help girls in Surrey Delta communities to grow up strong, successful, financially independent women. As it is, enthusiastic young girls between the ages and 18 showed up in their numbers to participate in this one day program and PMI was there to catch it live. I will leave you these shots and see the beautiful young girls trying to make good decisions in their lives. I will see you again. My name is Jess Karat Sani, and I'm the founder of an organization called Girls Empowered. Um, we have been partnering with an organization called Seroptimist International of Surrey Delta and have put on a conference called Dream It, Be It. And this is a career conference for girls ages 14 to 18, uh, primarily high school students from Surrey and Delta, who have come here today at Panama Ridge Secondary to um, learn about careers, do some career exploration, and also participate in a really great career fair uh, designed for them to speak with women professionals and learn about what career they could go into. Okay, um, how long have you done this in, in, in this uh, locality, Surrey Data? Mm -hmm. uh, this is the third year that Girls Empowered um, has been actively involved in the community and we've been doing a lot of different events every Mother's Day we go to women in transition homes and we put on a Mother's Day tea event for them uh, this year we're also sponsoring a single mom and her child for Christmas and we will be doing a lot of different events um, and so this idea came across with Seroptimist. Um, Seroptimist has actually given Girls Empowered an award before and so we decided to partner with them and put on a conference for younger girls so that they can also participate in something. So what are the feedback that you're getting from the previous events you have you, you organized? Yeah, feedback has been absolutely great. We did Girls Empowered Leadership Workshops which were also catered towards um, younger girls mm -hmm. and the feedback from parents was amazing. They really loved the idea and we actually don't have a lot of um, these events especially for girls to participate in and so um, the feedback is absolutely amazing and that's why we decided to put on a big event like this. Let me ask you a, 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 a very selfish question. Mm -hmm. Why girls? Okay, um, that is a great question actually but um, the reason that I decided to target girls is because a lot of times girls feel that they don't have power or that um, 
the leadership positions or such as being a prime minister or having a big leadership position, they feel that it only goes towards males. And I want to change that. I want to make sure that girls are equal. So this is not about highlighting girls, but it's about trying to bring them to that stage where they feel that they're equal and they can accomplish whatever they feel like. So the organizer presupposes that girls are at disadvantage, right? Yes, that's what that's what a lot of people think and a lot of people in different countries internationally still feel that. And I want to change that. I want to make sure that all the girls feel that they are included and that they are independent and that they can do whatever they like. What is the dynamics of people participating? Um, does it have to do with only uh, maybe perhaps immigrants or people born in Canada or you how do you get in participants here? What are the qualifications to get in here? For this specific conference we have been reaching out in terms of schools. Mm -hmm. So we have a vast variety, um, a different multicultural um, communities have come together. So it is not targeting a certain um, group of people, but it's targeting schools and trying to bring together schools from the Surrey and Delta communities. Do you reach out to them or do you register the country? No, we, we reached out to them through their youth groups, through leadership groups, through the career counselors at each school, um, and we were advertising with them and encouraging them to register their students. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is Sanya Jingra I, and I go to Johnson High Secondary. I'm a ninth grader. Um, I am very excited to be here at this conference. I believe that women need to explore out of their boundaries. I know people set boundaries for us, but it doesn't mean that we can't go beyond them. We can and we should be ourselves. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, I can see that you were born here, but your, perhaps your parents... Are, um, um, I'm not born here. You were not born no. here. Where are you from? Originally? I'm from India, New Delhi, India. India. Yes. Okay. So there are boundaries that you feel that were set for you when yes. you were born. So what, what those are those boundaries? Um, boundaries like people say, oh, just because you're uh, Indian, you can't do this, you can't do that. Or just because you're a woman, you can't yeah. do that. Yeah, so You feel that this will energize you to feel that... You can do anything as long as you're a human being, right? Yes. Okay. So, what have you gained so far? Um, I'm a dancer as well as a singer. Mm -hmm. I'm learning Hindu classical dance, classical dance named Kapak mm -hmm. from my gurus. And I'm also a Bollywood singer as well. Oh, great. Yeah. So, you feel fulfilled coming here today, right? Yes. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. So my name is Monam Shergel and I'm one of the volunteers for Girls Empowered and I hope to have girls come to this conference so that they can really empower themselves and learn that they are not defined by society's boundaries that are often placed on us. We're told to be a certain way, to look a certain way, to dress a certain way. And this conference is really about teaching girls and women that they're more than that, that they can be whatever they set their mind to. And this is the kind of conference that I wish I had when I was younger. And I really, really hope that it inspires a lot of young women to take control of their lives and to strive to achieve their full potential. Okay, yeah, telling women to be what they are, you know there are also cultural boundaries. Yes. So when cultural boundaries and the expectations of this conference clash, so what happens? Um, I think it's a personal matter for every person. It depends on how close you are to your culture and how comfortable you are with redefining culture because culture is often thought of as something that gets stuck in the past. It's something from maybe 20 years ago. But what we often forget is that, like people, culture has to evolve with the time. And this is a way for women to, again, take control of their own lives, take control of the culture that they're set in and redefine the cultural boundaries as well as their own. So far, they seem to really be enjoying the conference. I've heard a lot of young women talking about how it's helped them just rethink life and it's given them another way to look at the world around them. Yes. Thank you. Fine up. 
My name is Simran Soroya and I'm a science student at UBC and I'm here because um, I want to make awareness that there are more than other careers other than just being a nurse and or like going to becoming a doctor or a teacher. There's thousands of other careers that women can choose and this is an incredible opportunity. I wish I had this when I was younger because like I never knew anything like I was so difficult for me this past year to choose a career and I still am not sure. I think that with this conference the women or the girls they're able to choose what they want to do. They're able to explore different opportunities and get to learn what they actually have a passion for. Um, they Maybe they don't know what they want to do exactly by the end of the day but they'll have a better idea of what they want to do. They can like create change and they can like figure out what they want to do. They can go into nursing, they can go into chiropractic, or like there's thousands of other careers that they can choose from this conference. So alone. would you recommend it for any of your friends or relations? Yeah, I would definitely let them, I would tell them to come here. I actually have friends who came here because I knew it was going to be an incredible opportunity and they will learn a lot from it, the conference today. Whether it's through like they learn new skills, they make new friends, but they'll just learn thousands of new things today that they can use in the real world once they're old enough. Okay. Thank you. No problem, thank you. Okay, so my name's Violet Ferruchko, and I'm a member of, this, of the club, the Surrey Delta Seroptimist Club. And um, I'm also involved at, uh, we have clubs all over the world, and so what, what's called the Federation, they were the ones who looked at girls' programs and said, we need a girls' program. And they interviewed, they did focus groups with all kinds of girls between the ages of 14 and 18. They look, they talked to professionals and from everything they heard, it was girls wanting more support in their career um, development choices and they wanted mentors. So those were the two areas that our organization took and built a program around. Basically the curriculum was developed through Seroptimus. So we're using that curriculum and so every club has been encouraged to have their own career support conference for girls between 14 and 18 years old. So this is our first and uh, really great to see. I mean we've got over 60 girls attending and from what I'm hearing and just asking girls they're really enjoying it. So I'm um, looking for, you know, so basically you know, we're looking at um, the job fair is great because the girls are going to get a chance to talk to all these different women in really neat um, careers and get a chance to see, um, you know, what they're doing and why they chose what they chose and also hopefully establish some mentors through it. You know, someone's... Some now, I hear you say maybe how they have so how many had a choice yeah. on the event. Right. It's enough for people to just come here one day event to be, to be a light thing about their character? Mm. Good question. I think that, uh, no, I think it's just starts a, cat it's a catalyst for them. It sort of begins something in them and that hopefully will grow, you know? Get them to think about just the whole area of their career. Goals, obstacles, choices, and I think it's a start. And now they've got their peers to talk to each other and, you know, continue the, the journey. Suri Delta is a very highly multicultural uh, um, community. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them brought about many cultural, deep cultural backgrounds. Okay. And again, we cannot deny the fact that some of them have very strong cultural backgrounds. That is a constant openness that we have in Canada. So many cultures like that. Mm -hmm. What about what do you say to people who are stubborn to let go by their cultural cultural background? Okay. Um, you know that's not really something we've been addressing. Um, you know we're just sort of doing more of a broad, general 
um, topics around career. So basically, that's not one of the a uh, pardon? Yes. Yes, yes. So what is the feedback? We'll know the evaluations coming out at the end of the day because this is our first our first right. conference okay. and we do have an evaluation at the end before they get a certificate. They will leave with a certificate saying that they um, you know that they uh, were here for the conference and attended and participated so hopefully we'll get some feedback and that's what we're going to work on you know from and what i think the beauty of today is that we partnered with a group of girls and i think that is amazing i think that's going to be a real a real success to our um, conference having a group that the girls can look at and say wow they're only like two years ahead of where I am right now and they can relate. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Yeah. So I'm Mary and I solve people problems. I'm a podcaster. My academic background is as a criminologist. So I've worked in prisons, I've been a parole officer, probation, and a wide, wide range of people solving problem career. Wise. Yes, career-wise. So I'm very excited to keep up, to keep this going forward. And so I have podcasts now that you can download from iTunes, no cost. I'm really encouraging the young women here today to consider a real broad range of options in their career choices. And you're not successful in careers unless you can have a healthy relationship. We know that 30% of businesses are failing, even though they've got good product, uh, good strong bottom line, but their relationships are messy or they don't have good people skills, they can't maintain their businesses. And we've seen more than one career fall um, because someone, yeah, fall apart because someone doesn't have uh, good skills. And that's my vision now. So the podcasts are 10 minutes, I'm Mary.com, and uh, look for the podcasts there. So what, what, what are you trying to impact in this gala? So okay, this yes, because I'm one of the uh, seroptimists that's hosting the, gala, or hosting the event today. Very important to us that girls today have access to the women and to the careers that they want to go into. So the, the careers we have here today are stunt women, pilots, doctors, um, estheticians, firefighter, police officer, army, infantry, very uh, welder. Uh, the trades, electrician. So a lot of times we are still, girls are looking to a very narrow, stereotypic female-based careers, albeit they're good careers, but there's so much more out there. So our goal, and we do, we'll be doing this every year, as Seroptimists, our mission is to improve the lives of women and girls through education and economic empowerment. So I'm just telling a couple of gals there, as I'm a criminologist, I'm just telling them, go be a welder, go be an electrician. That's where the money is today. And we know that we need, um, we need people, men and women, in trade. So our goal is to really get the girls here today thinking outside the box and really looking like maybe yeah, they've got broad a passion. Broad-based uh, thinking. Absolutely, Absolutely. broad, broad-based, yeah. And so we're very fortunate because everyone that's here is here voluntarily. But like, you know, offering free flights in helicopter, okay? Um, just like I said, there's just so much here that you don't get. We got two authors here, one 24 years old and one 80 something. So you know, and 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 their life stories are in books, and they're local local gals here to Surrey, and uh, you know they've got bestseller books that they've done. So there's such, it's a really rich environment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you. My name is Iola Du. I go to Princess Margaret Secondary School and I'm here at Panorama Ridge to um, explore my different career options. Um, uh, I've been here since about 8.30 and we've been doing lots of workshops to do with goal setting and just helping us figure out what path to take post-grad, so after graduation. Um, I've looked at nursing booths, army booths, um, social worker booths and they're all pretty interesting. 
Um, I'm kind of leaning towards the social worker way because I find it interesting. And yeah. So your expectations there, and what is your? They definitely met my expectations. I, I have. I'm leaning now. Before when I came in to here, I didn't really know what I was gonna do post grad, and now I more have more of an idea, and I think it helped. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, my name is Maya Quainor and I'm a grade 12 student from Johnson Heights Secondary School. Um, I learned about the Dream It Beat event from school and I came to explore different career options and so far I've been able to do that. Um, I've, we've met a lot of inspirational people who've told us about different careers. Usually you only think that there are only certain careers but coming here has exposed me to more and I'm really excited about that and also it's been a lot of fun. I've met a lot of new people and I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I guess I'm expecting to, like, that this will help me figure out what I want to do with my life because right now I'm not so sure. And so far I'm learning a lot more about, like, different careers, so it's helping. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, my name is, uh, I'm Dr. Miral Hassan. And uh, I co-authored um, Chirpy, which is, it's just about a bird, it's just about, um, I just want to inspire. The main goal is, I co-authored it with my husband, uh, the best-selling author, Bud Johnson. And uh, we wanted to inspire the kids how to believe in themselves and how to have this trust that they can do it. Uh, whatever obstacles that they can overcome and they can still do it once they have it in their mind, they just keep going. Don't, nothing will stop them. What impact do you think you can have on these young girls in this just a day event? I just want them to, to think, I, I'm do, I want to I, I do this, so I'm going to do it. Not just, oh, I might, or, no, I will. Will is very important. Just by, by knowing that I will do this, it makes, it makes it happen. Because everything, the universe works miracles. And for me, it's like magic. You just do magic. You say, I will do this and it happens. I want this and it happens. This is what I want them to believe. What's the name of your book? Chirpy. The name of my book is Chirpy. Chirpy, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, okay. <laughs> Um, my name is Daisy Mills and I go to Delvey Secondary. Um, today, sorry, I forgot the question. <laughs> uh, I'm here to learn new jobs and trades and stuff like that because I'm not so sure what I want to do yet. So I'm here to learn so new what things. Have you, what have you done today? Uh, today I've actually learned a lot of new different careers that I thought I think I might like to try. And so, yeah. So what are you leaning towards now? Um, I'm still leaning towards what I originally wanted, which was a physicist. Uh, but I've also looked into counseling uh, and being an engineer and teaching. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Miral Hassan. And I'm here to, I was talking, and this is the book that I was talking about, Chirpy. This is how they can do it. And just by persistence and just keep, to, keep doing what they really want to do and have the will inside of their heart, they're going to be able to do it. And actually I'm here today to, to inspire them about being a dentist. I'm a dentist, an orthodontist, that I love my work and I love my job. And I want them to know what does a dentist do. Of course, they fix teeth, they do that, they do that. But I want them to, I want to teach them how to go like through schooling and what they're going to do. And of course, there's everything. You have to study hard to get whatever you, you want. So for me, it's, it's a privilege to come, to come and be able to inspire these girls, that how dentistry and how doing a lot of stuff and how being persistent and, and having this will inside of my heart that I want to do whatever I want to do and achieve, this is what I'm going to achieve. So what is the feedback you got from the participants today? 
the actually the feedback is good they started asking me about like if they have a problem like this what they will do if they have a problem like this what they will do they just came and talked to me about that and uh, some of them are saying that it's a lot of studies and do they need to go through these studies and stuff like that and uh, some of them said uh, they don't want to see blood okay and st yeah, that's that's, okay. that's it and you know they need to learn more about the the field itself but it's just an amazing field and they're gonna make more money yeah. That's Thank it. You Thank you so much. Okay. Hi, my name is Ramsha and I go to Fraser Heights Secondary. I actually heard about this conference on my school's announcements and I thought, oh, it seems interesting. So I checked, I found more information about it. And being here, I thought, wow, this is so interesting. There's so many people here. I'm just really looking forward to this. And I was right about it. Like, I, I love it so much. Like, I met so many new people that share the same viewpoints as me and are interested in the same things as me. And yeah, I just learned so much from this conference. And it's not even over yet. Yeah, it just started. What are your expectations of this conference? Um, just learning more about a bunch of different careers. And, and um, from the organizer who told me that it's meant for empowerment of young girls. And all oh that. yeah, this so is. This is for empowerment. What's, uh, what are your expectations? Um, I'm just looking for like inspiration, just like that quick pick me up and saying that yes, you, you can do it. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, just so that are, motivation. Are, are there struggles that things that you think um, that you gain from here to make you overcome your, your personal struggles? Um, no. No. No, not really. No, I, don't, no. I don't really think about my struggles during this conference. So right. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. Marlin Travels, Surrey, British Columbia. Specialists in flights to anywhere in Africa and beyond. We also provide best prices to all African destinations. We are available in our Surrey City Central Mall location seven days of the week, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. For best customer service and booking, we are located at 10153 King George Boulevard. Surrey City Central Mall, Surrey. Our telephone numbers are 604-588-8300 and 604-339-8039. You can also email us at dean.malik at marlintravel.ca. Visit our website www.marlintravel.ca slash 1550. Call and save on flights today.